Now on Sunrise and streaming on CrossroadsToday.com, the Supreme Court has ruled the controversial Trump-era border restriction known as Title 42 will remain in effect. And travel chaos continues as airlines struggle to recover from weather delays leading the way with thousands of cancellations, Southwest Airlines. Plus, preparations are underway in Times Square, the iconic crystal ball all ready for this weekend's big drop. The outside Coral ISD, we're looking at uh, cloudy conditions, the of cloudy skies and areas of fog this morning. And watch out right there, rain chances returning. When will that be? We'll take a look coming up. One of the most dominant defensive players in the NFL made a big announcement. That's coming up in sports. You're watching 25 News Now Sunrise. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Carolina Astrain. Today is the 20th day of December 2022. The time is now 6.30 on your Wednesday morning. And today is National Card Playing Game. Trey, so over the holiday weekend, I was able to celebrate with a family friends of mine and one of the young individuals received new Pokemon cards, but he hasn't played, he hasn't actually, you know, played the game yet with the cards. So he's got a, a little bit more to learn about that part of Pokemon. But Trey, what was the card playing game in, in your in your day in, in, in high school? Was that D, like Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, it, it definitely was popular back then. Of course, we had the old regular cards we played like spades and uno and stuff like that which is always fun little kid games and they're still fun to play as an adult it's 41 degrees by the way and live view coming in this is from the victoria college emerging technology complex a few clouds are in the gulf of mexico you see kind of the high tops there but otherwise keeping it mostly clear and fog beginning to dissipate a little bit especially coming up in the next hour or two as the atmosphere heats up with the sunlight. Starting off temperatures near 40 degrees or so, and then ending the day with uh, temperatures very warm on the outside, so the winds throughout the day as well. A little bit gusty by the time we get to the afternoon, and they'll be changing direction as we head toward your day on uh, Thursday as the front moves through. Not a cold front like from the north, like a, not like a Canadian or an Arctic front, more of a Pacific oriented front, so that means milder temperatures. Morning fog likely, already have that this morning. No advisory, but there is a fog out there. Much warmer temperatures coming in, especially today. That's the beginning of trend that we'll see for the next few days. Temperatures well into the 70s, mid 70s at that. Rain chances begin tomorrow as the weak front gets closer to us. Looks like the rain chances will continue after tomorrow, at least in some form. Will it impact your New Year's holiday? We'll take a look at that in the full forecast to come later on this half hour. Make it a great day today and enjoy the sunshine and the warm temperatures by this afternoon. Carolina? Thank you, Trey. Happening now, search efforts are underway for three people who ran off during a traffic stop last night. As of 8.30 p.m., the suspects were still at large. The suspects ran off on Highway 59 just south of the Lake Texana bridges. The vehicle was towed and impounded. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office says there will be additional patrols in the area in an attempt to locate the suspects. You are urged to report any suspicious activity in the area by dialing 911. Now to the battle over undocumented immigrants at the nation's southern border. An important part of it is headed to the Supreme Court, to the Supreme Court and that part is what's called Title 42, the Trump era policy that's cleared the way for expelling at least 2.5 million asylum seekers from the U.S. The court says it should remain law for now. President Biden's first reaction to the Supreme Court decision that keeps Title 42 in place until the court reconvenes next year to decide the policy's long-term future. In the meantime, we have to enforce it, but I think it's overdue. The pandemic-era policy allows border officials to expel asylum seekers on public health grounds. The policy was set to expire last week, but Republican-led states appealed to uphold it, worried that without Title 42, a flood of migrants will overwhelm the border. Homeland Security warning that 18,000 migrants could cross the border every day. In El Paso, migrants are sleeping on the streets and during the cold, some sleeping under wet blankets. If they continue to, to, to get in without being undetected, we're going to continue to have this, this population grow within our community. And so that is concerning. The city recently declared an emergency. Large tents are now being built to handle the influx. 
These satellite images taken just five days apart last week showed the rapid construction of one housing facility designed to hold 1,000 migrants. The Biden administration saying it's also added thousands of personnel at the border. But critics on both sides of the political aisle acknowledge whatever eventually happens to Title 42 next year, the problem on the border won't be solved until Congress takes action to reform the immigration system. Back in El Paso, many migrants are ineligible for city shelters, and others have said no to any help, fearing it could lead to deportation. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. Leading us to your viewer poll, do immigrants benefit or harm the country? Let's take a look. 38% of you say benefit, and 62% of you say harm. We want to keep hearing from you. Come to corerossroadstoday.com slash vote. You can also scan the QR code right there on your screen to take part. Travel chaos continues across the nation as airlines struggle to recover from weather delays. And leading the way with thousands of cancellations, Southwest Airlines getting hit the hardest, in part because winter weather impacted two major hubs in Chicago and Denver. Southwest Airlines CEO Bob Jordan released a statement Tuesday apologizing for the situation and saying he is optimistic the airline will be back on track before next week. We'll go to Washington. For more on the airline cancellations later on Sunrise. Times Square's iconic crystal ball is all ready to ring in the new year. The final Waterford crystal triangles were installed onto the ball Tuesday. About 200 of the more than 2,000 triangles on the ball were replaced this year. The 192 new crystals represent the 2022 theme, the gift of love. All right, get your favorite chocolate candy and celebrate National Chocolate Candy Day. You heard me right, another sweet day to add to your holiday celebrations. The December 28th holiday urges people to chow down on their favorite truffles and ganache. So while you munch on your favorites, here are some facts about the guilty pleasure dessert. It's grown on a cacao tree in Mexico, Central America, and South America. A Dutch inventor and chemist developed a way to produce it into solid form in 1828. The first edible chocolate bar was produced by a British chocolate company, and Americans consume 12 pounds of chocolate each year. So go ahead and add on to those pounds by celebrating National Chocolate Candy Day today. I know Trey's going to get a Reese's. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, get your cell phone and scan this QR code. It's our quick response code to download the Crossroads Today app. You can get breaking news alerts, vote in our viewer poll, get the latest news, weather and sports, and learn all about our ongoing contest right there on the app. Submit those news tips and photos. The time is now 637 on your Wednesday morning. Here's a look what's coming up on 25 News Now Sunrise. Cayman Furniture giving back to others this holiday season. Day of flight cancellations and customer frustrations for Southwest Airlines. I'm ABC's Justin Finch with the CEO's new message and details on why the airline is coming under federal investigation. And temperatures will be a big weather feature today. And we're starting off at 10 a.m., 36 degrees. Notice this coming up by the afternoon time, 5 o'clock. We're well into the 70s around here. Nice spring type feel. How long will it last? When's the rain chance to begin? We'll take a look coming up. This is Todd, and this is Sarah. She's leaving for Paris. But this isn't your classic holiday rom-com. It's a Nissan event ad. Seriously? Featuring the Nissan Rogue. And more standard power than a CRV. This is a love emergency. Don't let true love or these offers get away. Get $500 bonus cash on select models. Money went uh-uh. And you know we're always laughing. Shake it, shake it. Oh my god! Shake it from head to toe. Shake it, shake it. At HEB, our pharmacy partners take care of their fellow Texans, like providing prescriptions and immunizations, plus monthly health screenings and auto refills. And we'll even deliver. One more reason. Here, everything's better. Spread joy faster this holiday season with Optima. Get 300 meg internet for as low as $30 a month, locked in for two years with no annual contract. Order now and get a $100 Visa prepaid card. Plus, Showtime is included for three months and your equipment is on us. 
Go from 300 meg internet to spreading joy faster than ever with Optimum. Call 866-9-OPTIMUM or visit Optimum.com. Get closer, go farther with Optimum. When a storm hits, vital items and preparations can keep you safe. Turn off the gas at each pipeline. Anchor any fuel tanks in case pipes break. Bring in outdoor items that could pose a hazard. When evacuating, take the essentials like a first aid kit, flashlights, batteries, blankets, and pillows. Remember to refill your prescriptions and take important documents. Cash and a phone charger will keep you prepared on the road. For all your essential information, stay connected on all our Crossroads Today platforms. Stay prepared and stay safe. And good morning, it's 20 minutes away from the 7 a.m. hour. And visibilities, well, not too bad, six to seven miles, some five mile visibility here and there. And by the time we get to 11, 10 a.m., 11 o'clock, everybody's at 12 miles or more visibility throughout the entire Crossroads region. So no one has to worry about that too much in the foggy conditions. Temperature is on the cool side. The closer you get to the coast, the higher the temperatures are, 57 degrees in Rockport right along the bay. Same thing in Port O'Connor and Palacios. And Port Lavaca is the same. 42 degrees in Victoria, points to north in the 30s. But look at the temperatures throughout the day rising rapidly. 70 degrees or so by 11 o'clock in the afternoon. By 3 o'clock, mid 70s around here with nice and sunny conditions. And we'll have a, a rather warm overnight low in the 60s and doing it all over again for your day for your Thursday. The difference between tomorrow and today, rain chances are more likely on your Thursday. We'll talk about that in your full forecast to come. Seven day outlook before we go this half hour, Carolina. Thank you, Trey. An NFL star is calling it a career. Sports director Gino Perez has more. At a crossroads, former Houston Texan and Arizona Cardinals defensive end J.J. Watt is announcing his retirement. The three-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year tweeted the announcement earlier yesterday. Watt wrote he played his last ever home game this past Sunday and his heart is filled with nothing but love and gratitude. Besides being one of the best defensive players in the league's history, the 33-year-old is also well known for his philanthropic work for off the field. After Hurricane Harvey devastated areas around Houston and the rest of the Gulf Coast, including the Crossroads area in 2017, Watt campaigned to raise more than $37 million for victims. The top Texas team in Texas, TCU, will play New Year's Eve against Michigan for a chance at the national title. The two teams will battle in the Fiesta Bowl in a matchup where it's size versus speed. Michigan with the size and TCU with the speed. Michigan has the best offensive line in the nation, while TCU has the runner-up Heisman winner at quarterback along with a stout run game. At your 25 Sports Now. We want to invite you to experience our digital streaming service, Crossroads Today Plus. You can find it on your connected TV through Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and on your cell phone. Just search Crossroads Today Plus. This morning, of this morning, the head of Southwest Airlines is pledging to make things right for customers left stranded and inconvenienced after days of flight cancellations and delays. The airline is blaming the holiday winter storm for forcing it to free service nationwide in what's now being called one of the worst air travel meltdowns in recent history. Frustration and anger at the nation's airports. The Christmas was just ruined. This was the worst Christmas ever. Stressed and stranded Southwest passengers fuming after the airline canceled more than 2,500 flights Tuesday, following thousands more earlier this week. Southwest blaming that massive holiday storm for its service cuts and rocky recovery. The app on our phone said that our flight had been canceled. Southwest passenger Kayla O'Connor says her Monday flight to Pensacola was canceled and the earliest she could rebook was Thursday. So she chose to drive 16 hours from Kansas City, Missouri. Hopefully they will um, reimburse us. Southwest CEO Bob Jordan apologizing, saying the airline's point-to-point -point operating system, which relies on a network of direct flights, is especially vulnerable to challenges like severe weather, making for a slower rebound than their competitors. We're doing everything we can to return to a normal operation. 
And please also hear that I'm truly sorry. Jordan says Southwest will significantly reduce flights over the coming days in hopes of being back on track before next week. Southwest Airlines Pilots Union says the carrier's outdated IT system is leaving stranded customers on hold for hours. They're using processes and IT from the 1990s when we were an airline less than a quarter of the size. The Southwest fallout prompting a U.S. Department of Transportation investigation. Well, what we're seeing is something that is beyond what can be attributed to the weather. The bottom line is this is just not an acceptable level of service. And the Senate Commerce Committee echoing calls for accountability from Southwest, pressing the airline to provide significant monetary compensation to not only cover passengers tickets, but also hotels, meals and transportation. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Cayman Furniture believes it's better to give than to receive. That's why every year they bring the magic of Christmas to a family in the crossroads. Donald Pendleton and Carol Hinson of Edna won this year's furniture delivery. Donald served in the U.S. Army during the Vietnam conflict. I'm so thankful. Uh, once again, this is over 40 years of delivering a house full of furniture, a house full of joy. Thank you for Mr. Kamen and, and his family, everything that they have done. The Jackson County Fire Department nominated Donald and Carol for this year's Cayman Magic of Christmas. The time is now 645 on your Wednesday morning still to come. Heavy rainfall caused severe flash flooding in the historical city of Petra, Jordan. Time to celebrate some birthdays. Happy birthday to Oscar winning actor Denzel Washington. He's 68. An Emmy, Grammy, and Oscar and Tony winner John Legend is 44 today. Happy birthday. Happy 44th birthday to Monica. God bless you with many more. And to see your birthday wish live on 25 News by Sunrise, come to CrossroadsToday.com. Click on More and Under Home. You see the KVU submit your birthday. And the time is now 646 on your Wednesday morning. We'll be right back. Get no payments till April during the big finish event at Victoria Dodge Jeep Ram Wagoneer. And if that's not good enough, get 12 grand off Ram half tons with rows and rows to choose. And if that's not good enough, get 2.9% for six years on Rams, Durango's, and Chrysler 300s. At Victoria Dodge, we're making it happen with no payments till April and 12 grand off Rams. 12 grand off! 2.9% for 72 months. No payments till April. Only at VictoriaDodge.com. VictoriaDodge.com. The defendant runs a tournament. You entered your team. You paid a fee. This youth football coach couldn't get a win on the field. The two teams that you played were the same age. Our players weren't as seasoned as... Maybe you shouldn't have entered them in a tournament. Now... You want your money back. He looks for a victory in court. So your team lost twice. A couple of your kids roughed up a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Maybe it had to do with the coaching. Next Judge Judy. In this morning's GMA First Look, how those holiday decorations could put your home at risk. This fire breaking out early Christmas morning. Sacramento Fire Rescue teams battling intense flames that ripped through the home, which they say started from an artificial Christmas tree with an electrical malfunction. Then seconds that they were overcome by smoke and fire. One of the most common things I hear from homeowners when I arrive on a fire is they didn't think it would happen to them. And it does happen. And it can happen in your home, too. Between 2016 and 2019, the National Fire Protection Association says U.S. fire departments responded to an estimated average of 790 home structure fires per year that began with decorations. And coming up at 7 a.m., what you need to know to keep you and your family safe. With your GMA First Look, I'm Matt Gutman, ABC News, Los Angeles. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one selling nerve care company. Nervive contains alpha lipoic acid to relieve occasional nerve aches, weakness, and discomfort. Try Nervive Nerve Relief.
Second date. Wish me luck, buddy. Bow to mission control. We have a denture problem. Over. Roger that. With Polydent Cleanser and Polygrip Adhesive, we're fresh and secure for any close encounter. If your mouth could talk, it would ask for... Polydent and Polygrip. Mama, ma. <laughs> Good morning, Tree Mining here. It's about 10 minutes away from 7 a.m. and 40 degrees, and the, the, some upper 30s around the region, so cold this morning. Closer to the coast, it gets warmer. Right along the uh, bayfront, 51 degrees in Sea Drift. For an example, Port O'Connor, 60 degrees, as opposed to 40s and 30s from Victoria northward. But rising rapidly, temperatures throughout the day, definitely by 11 a.m., we're already in the 60s. Low to mid-70s by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to be a very springtime type of day with beautiful sunny conditions. And the temperatures will continue to rain, remain warm for the time being. And some areas of fog this morning along the coast and in the western areas. It's trying to expand a little bit northward by the time it gets to 10 a.m. is all out of the picture because the atmosphere heats up and evaporates that low level moisture in the air and gives us sunny skies today. Rain chances coming in is what you see on your Thursday here and around the region as the front gets closer to us and it actually moves on through. But not much of a difference between from the first front, front of the front or behind the front. Temperatures remaining the same and warm. That's good. 75 degrees for your day today. So the winds, morning fog, and the sunny skies throughout the day. Not too bad at all. Overnight lows in the 60s, no more 30s. Patchy fog as well in the morning. And then for your day tomorrow, 76 degrees. Fairly decent chance of scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. A 40% chance I put in it for that. And extended forecast for us. Highs in the 70s. Spring-like warm going into the new year. Maybe that's a good sign. Overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. Rain chances today, at least small chances right on through the New Year's holiday and weekend. Better chance again with another front on your Monday and keeping that going into your Tuesday. So not too bad weather conditions for us around the region. And now for today's question of the day. Setting off fireworks on New Year's was originally meant to do this. What is it? Like us on Facebook, Crossroads Today, post your guest to today's question. We'll have the answer later on Sunrise. <music> Heavy rainfall caused severe flash flooding in the historical city of Petra, Jordan. Tourists had to be evacuated from the ancient archaeological site after water filled the gorge. The tourists were all able to escape safely. Russian opposition leader Alex Navalny says he's being injected with an unknown drug in prison. Navalny made the comment in a series of tweets Monday. The prominent critic of Russian President Vladimir Putin says he suffers from spine problems, which causes him a lot of pain. He says the pain is exacerbated by prison conditions. Navalny claims he asked about the injection he was getting. He said that it, he was told it was vitamins, but he thinks otherwise, adding the injections aren't working. Navalny is currently being held at a higher security prison facility in the Vladimir region. Tennis star Novak Djokovic has landed in Australia ahead of the Adelaide. Adelaide International and Australian Open next month. This is Djokovic's first visit down under since he was deported almost a year ago over his COVID-19 vaccination status. Since then, Australia has overturned a three-year ban on Djokovic entering the country, paving the way for the former world number one to contest the 2023 Australian Open. Djokovic has won nine men's singles titles at the Australian Open. That's more than anyone else in history. Still to come on Sunrise, news to know before you go. One person has died following a crash in Utah on Tuesday. Victory Kia and Victory Buick GMC want to let you know that you can lean on us. We will award $500 to a deserving winner. Drop off an entry form at any of our participating dealerships in the Lean On Me drop box with your story and contact info. Go to crossroadstoday.com slash lean on me for more information or to enter online. You can tune in every other Thursday at the 6, 9, and 10 p.m. news to view our winners. Lean On Me is sponsored by Victory Kia and Victory Buick GMC. Get high-speed, fast, reliable, and affordable wireless internet service with TISD. We are a customer-oriented service provider with more than 25 years of experience, having thousands of happy customers. We offer more than just the internet. Get IT solution, RV park setups, home phone service, 
Just pick up your phone and dial 361-573-1102 or visit our website on TISD.net. You can enjoy endless entertainment and local news updates for free on our 17 over-the-air channels. Connect your TV antenna to your smart TV in three easy steps. Connect the coaxial cable from your antenna to the back of your TV. Select the menu button on your remote and navigate to the correct input of your antenna. Find the channel scan option and click it. Setting up your antenna will keep you entertained and informed with the latest weather updates and emergency information for free. Call or email for questions or more information. Stay connected and stay safe. Before you count down on New Year's Eve, count on GMA to be rockin' with Mr. Rockin' Eve himself, Ryan Seacrest Live, and Jesse James Decker. The rockin'est New Year's Eve ever kicks off this week on Tell Em Ryan. Good morning, America. When you do interviews like this, you always wonder what it's going to be like looking into the eyes of a killer. But Wendy doesn't look or act like any of the killers I've talked to. Why did you decide to do this network interview? 2020, Friday on ABC. And now it's time for today's question of the day. Setting off fireworks on New Year's Day was originally meant to do this. What is it? Okay, Trey, we've had guesses all morning. People did not take the holiday off from the question of the day. Good. So Tanya says scare off evil spirits. So does Kenneth. And Victoria also suspects that as well. And Dorothy. And let's see, celebrating a new year born. That's Melanie. Um, Trey, I think we're ready for the answer. All right, thanks everybody who gave us their answer for the question of the day, and the answer is to ward off evil spirits. There you go. Ah. Oh, and it's Tanya Gerloff. She commented she was the, um, the woman that helped the man with the wheelchair. Yes, yes, very good, very good. And all right, thanks everybody for giving your answer to the question of the day. Stay tuned for tomorrow for the great question of the day to get you going for your day tomorrow on Thursday. One person has died following a crash in Utah on Tuesday. The crash happened around 11 a.m. in Wasatch County on Highway 40. Authorities say a woman lost control of her car, went into the opposite lane of traffic, and slammed head-on into a large SUV. The crash killed a woman instantly. Several children in the SUV suffered minor injuries. No cause for the crash has been released, but the Utah Department of Transportation cameras in the area show low visibility. Six people are hurt after a helicopter hard landing at a Nevada airport. Police say eight people were on board the helicopter at the time. Of those injured, four were transported to a nearby hospital. It's unclear what may have caused the hard landing, but there is an ongoing investigation into the incident. The city of Victoria has named its new interim police chief, Mark Jamison, will secede the current chief, Roberto Arredondo, after Arredondo announced he was leaving to serve chief to serve as chief in Carrollton. Jamison joined the department in 1997. He served as interim police chief in 2020 as well. The city plans to name a permanent police chief in the spring. Here's a notice for those summoned for jury duty on Wednesday, January 11th at the Victoria County Courthouse. You are asked to not appear if you are summoned for that 8.30 a.m. session. That jury session is canceled and will not be rescheduled. Stranded residents in Buffalo, New York were saved by a group of friends on snowmobiles. One man took to the streets to help out residents who had become stranded in the storm, but quickly found himself stuck as well. Eddie Porter said he was stranded on Buffalo's east side for nearly 20 hours before he was rescued by someone on a snowmobile. The group of friends saved 50 people on their snowmobiles. Porter said he and many of those rescued would not have made it on their own. A dog that was lost on Christmas Eve during a hike was rescued and reunited with its family. Nala and her owner became separated during a hike near Waterfall Canyon. The man was unable to find her before nightfall and Nala had to spend the night on the mountain. Nala was spotted on a ridge above a frozen waterfall. Climbers went up the mountain to coax the scared and cold dog into their arms. The dog was cold with a few minor injuries, but was able to hike down with rescuers. Wow. We want to invite you to experience our new digital streaming service, Crossroads Today Plus. You can find it on your connected TV through Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and on your cell phone. Just search Crossroads Today Plus. And we have time for a final check of our forecast with Trey. Trey, we're trading in those cold temperatures for some precipitation. 
Exactly, yes, but trading it in, even the trade, trade it in. <laughs> I don't know, a little weird sense of humor sometimes I do. All right, on the outside, the temperature is near 40 degrees. 60s and 70s by the afternoon time, of course. Very spring-like day, areas of fog this morning, giving way to sunny skies, so I'm looking pretty good. With warm temperatures after a cold start, 75 degrees in Victoria. And overnight lows will be not anywhere near we have been, will be in the uh, low to mid 60s areas of patchy fog. Rain chances for your day tomorrow, keeping the highs in the 70s once again. An extended forecast for us, looking pretty good, but rain chances each day begin tomorrow, right on through the New Year's holiday. But nothing to spoil your plans. High 70s, lows 30s, and nope, highs in the 70s, 50s, and 60s for the overnight lows. Carolina. Thank you, Trey, and thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day, and be sure to keep those low beams on, no high beams, because it is foggy out there. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Come to CrossroadsToday.com for more local news, weather, and sports. And join James, Don, Howie, Karina, and Gina for 20s at 5, 6, and 10.